Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. One of the most egregious claims of the Darwinian evolutionists is the God of the Gaps accusation. They claim that creationists call on God as a cause for the universe and life, just because science has no valid alternate explanation. In other words, they say that claiming that God did it, is a cop-out, just because there is a gap in their understanding. In reality, the opposite is true. For 10,000 years, mankind has trusted the biblical account of creation as revealed in the book of Genesis. But in the mid-1800s, a minority of scientists began embracing alternate theories for the beginning of the universe and life. Fast forward to the 21st century, and their theories now dominate the scientific worldview. But, if their current theories are fairly new and unproven, then it is actually they, that are guilty of gap theories. In order to justify accusing creationists of pulling the God card, they must present a more valid theory, and that theory must be based on evidence. So is that what we find? No. Their theories on the beginning of the universe and life are void of any evidence, and are anecdotal at best. They have a name for both events, Big Bang and abiogenesis, but no explanation. They teach that the universe came into being from nothing, they got that part right, but they define no cause. All effects must have a cause. And since the beginning of the universe was also the beginning of time, space, and matter, the cause must exist outside of time, space, and matter. The creationists say that's, God. The scientists say that's, uh, um, a singularity. Yeah, that's the ticket. Or, um, it was multiple universes or string theory. Anything, but God. Their theory on the beginning of life is no better. They call it abiogenesis, all life came together, all by itself, from non-living chemicals. Their theory is literally impossible. The most basic form of life, bacteria, is so complicated, to think that it all came together by itself, is beyond credulity. The problem? No evidence. So don't buy into their fairy tale theories. Instead, go with the history and evidence of Genesis, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Peace be unto you, and your house. Amen.